Hi. So I've been working on my little portrait for a few more minutes. And I'm darkening up areas. Um, I was going to say also, if you get the hair actually accurate, it will actually look like the person you're drawing. So it's amazing. You can get everything else off. But uh, the hair, the hair tells the story. Um, and also, usually, you know, next to your head is the hair is more in shadow than the hair that's facing the world because the light is hitting it. Um, what I'm going to show you in this video is um, dealing with the background. So, as part of this lesson, there was um, a video on Kehinde Wiley, who was a contemporary living. American artist, actually, I think F Nigerian Amer American Nigerian, um, born here. His parents were Nigerian. Uh, was born in L.A., moved to New York, uh, got famous, and uh, he did Obama's presidential portrait. Um, so that was quite a moment in history. His work is very lush, as you saw in the video. Please watch the video. It's short and sweet. Um, he's using art to express power, but he's also, um, looking at the, um, opulence of the art of royalty, um, from the, from the 18th and 19th century, um, and doing these amazing, like, huge canvases that you will look at. And you someday you'll go to a museum and see his actual work, and it's always amazing. Um, but I'm going to leave the pencil drawing for now. And the next thing is the background. And we're go instead of drawing and painting all these intricate uh things. I thought we'd collage. Let me find what happened to my magazine. So we'll work with collage. What I love about collage is it adds texture and texture literally means feeling and it adds feeling and emotion to your artwork. So I'm just like picking up random magazines that um, we have lying around the house and the, I'm going with a theme. I want you to go to with the theme. Could be uh, plants, could be animals, could be just color. Uh, please look at the examples of my students' work in the past. I'm going to go with the impossible, I realize, because I'm always working upside down and backwards. Um, there's hardly any blue flowers in this world, but for some reason I decided to do a blue floral background. Um, so when you cut out your... Um, when you cut out your pieces of paper of the magazine, this is actually your color source. So it's not that I want to have like um, this model. I just want the colors in her clothes. So I'm just going to cut out a shape of color. If now, if you want to do all animals, which would be amazing in the background. Cut out your birds individually. Um, they'll be much more interesting looking than just cutting out squares of um, pictures that you like. Okay, so I'm just going to start a little bit here on the side. I put a little bit of glue on. Just do a small area at a time. Um, this particular glue stick, it's purple when it's wet. And then um, as it dries, it turns invisible. So I have all these pre-cut blue pieces. What you can do if you have nothing, when you have nothing to do, which is a lot of time, um, just cut out your colors or your textures. And then we just put this together like you're putting together a jigsaw puzzle. 
So these are all kind of blue florals. Maybe a little more blue. And you know, when you first begin, again, you're gonna think, oh, Miss Green, this is gonna take forever. And it really doesn't. And in fact, not only does it not take forever, but there's something very satisfying about filling in the space. Um, I think with my last collage, it was all about, um, I tore the paper for that special effect, which I really liked. And this paper, I'm feeling like I need to cut it all very neatly. So that's all up to you. Okay, can you see it's starting to come to life? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, it's probably good to pre-cut your magazine pictures and if you're totally impulsive compulsive, you might even wanna um, separate your colors by light and dark so you have more control over where you put it. So all kinds of things to do. Thank goodness you have, you're sheltering in place, so you have nowhere to go. And all the time in the world to do this. Let's see. I'm gonna cut that in half. Okay, oops. Everything's falling. Um, yeah, this, I mean, it can be amazing. If you separate the colors from dark and light, or dark, medium, and light, you can then do a gradation. It'd be, be incredible. Incredible. So I am going to stop here. Seven minutes. Love you. See you next time.